it's time for another video. Today, as you can see, we have two Draculauras, and I'm bringing back Piggy Pink Wednesday deboxings, so that's what we're gonna do today. I know it might be a little much having two, but I just have so many to debox for y'all, and I am dying to get into these. This one has been sitting around for a minute. This one, not so much, but I just can't wait. I wanna see them. So, you're gonna come along this journey with me today, and we are gonna get on in to these lovely Piggy Pink Draculauras. All right, we're gonna do the boxes, but just real quick, because I'm sure that most of you have seen this already, but this is cutie little creep over Draculaura with all her little friends down here in the corner. So cute and all her good stuff. And on the side here, it just says Monster High. And then on this side, it has all her little like Draculaura type little things there on the side. Then the back of the box is adorbs. Look at this. I'm definitely keeping the box art. Super cute. Love that she's like laying there doing her nails that is so adorable and then back around to the front again as we saw all the goodies not as much on these Sculptimate Secrets, but the box art is to die for. I love how they did the Draculaura, the font for her. Love it, love this box art, definitely keeping it. And then on the back, it has the other ladies in the line that are available, and then the Monster High Sculptimate Secrets logo. Nothing much down here but the gobbledygook. And then, you know, the sides are just plain. Then it has the little doors that you have to get into. So there are the boxes. And I think it's a hard choice, but I think that I'm gonna get into creep over here first and then do the Sculptimate Secrets because this one has been waiting longer. So I'm just gonna do all the cutting and icky off screen and then come back to you when she's all debox jailed. All right, y'all, we are back and she's out of her box jail. Oh my goodness, I love her. But we are gonna get into her little accessories first and then into her cute self. Look at these, these are adorable. I'm assuming these are supposed to be fingernail polish or something of the sort, maybe potion lotions, who knows? I just think they are adorable and I love them. Then we have her little juicy juice. It's so cute. I love the fangs on the cherry. And even as small as this is, that they tried to put some detail on it. Love that. The little ring so that they can hold it. I forgot to say that about the other two little lotion potion fingernail polishy things, that they have the little thing where you can like make them hold it, which I love that detail. Then there's this weird little rubbery mask, which I'm sure it's supposed to look like, you know, they're having a girl slumber party so that they can, you know, do their facials and stuff, which is cute. I'm glad for that, that they are thinking of stuff like that. It's adorable. Now the little pillow is super duper cute and it's squishy. It has like air inside or something, you know, cause it's plastic, but I absolutely love this. Love, love, love this detail. Love how pinky pink it is and the little face and the bat wings just adorbs. And then the little webby basket thing. Love the detail on this. Don't know exactly what they mean for it to be for, but I don't care. I love any little accessories that are Monster High-ified. They are lovely because one of these days I'm gonna do a diorama that's all Monster High related. All this cute stuff will come in super handy. And then we have Count Fabulous. <laughs> so cute. She's so cute. She's so cute. So, so cute. And I love the coffin bed for Count Fabulous. Can lay down, can sit up. So cute. Like it's that cheapy clicky plastic, but I don't mind. It's adorable. I love the purple fur outside and then like the fuchsia purpley pink on the inside with the detail of the faux pillow and the little stars and whatnot. And then Fabulous herself here. So super cute. Love the ruffle around the neck, the heart eyebrows, the little bow on the top of the head. Love Love the little ears, the little bat wings on the back. So adorably cute. Love, love, love. It is a toss up between Count Fabulous and the pink pillow of which is my favorite of the accessories, but super cute, both of them. And then the last little thing are these little ears. They are so stinking cute. I'm not gonna put them on her because I don't really wanna mess up her little, you know, top knot hair buns, but this is really, really cute. And maybe on one of my other dolls that doesn't have that detail, I'll put it on. Super cute, loving the pink. All right, now we're gonna get into beautiful Draculaura here. <gasps> Up close and personal, look at her face, y'all. Just gorgeous, oh my goodness. I really love the face screening and the makeup on this one with the baby hairs the way they're done and then the half and half and her not having any bangs where you can see all her full face and her makeup. Love it. And this pink, oh, 
I think this is the good hair. I really do. This feels like the good hair fiber and the pink. Oh, this is my perfect pink. It's so luscious and her little knots. I got lucky with her because they didn't have a lot, but she just, her face screening was gorgeous to me. Her little lip with her little fangs were perfect and her little beauty mark, the heart, and her hair split was good. Her buns were really nice. Her baby hairs were perfect as far as I could tell. So I had to grab this beauty. She has beautiful blushing, so beautiful. I hope you can see it through my camera as well as I can. It's so gorgeous. Love, love, love. And then this little fur coat, really soft, really, really soft. Love, love, love that. And then I forgot to mention her earrings. There's just so much on these dolls. I love that they came out with the new Monster Highs. I really do. They're all not my favorites, but a lot of them I love. So that's all I can say. Love these earrings. Love that one is black and one is pink, pinky pink. So cute. And then look at this. I love these wings on the back here, these bat wings and the stitching being in the pink. This is really simple, but I love it. Love, love, love it. Okay, I'm gonna take her little jacket off so we can see her better. Here's the jacket off of her. Not gonna do a lot of talking about it. Just gonna show it to you real quick. Super soft. It is lined, but it's not. It's like lined with that meshy stuff, but it's not lined where you can't see the under fabric, but it is nice, I do have to say. Sewn very well, glad about that. And now here she is without the robe. I said jacket earlier, but it's a robe. You know, when I'm doing these, I get so excited sometimes when it's certain dolls and like thrifting. I forget things or say things like incorrectly, but you know, we're all human. Anyway, I love that the shirt says fangtastic. What? And that she has the upper joint, love it, love it, and the expressive up, down, side, side, full 360, and the 360 here at the shoulder, the elbow bend, the wrist bend, the leg in, out, back, forth, the knee bend. Loving all the articulation of these, really, really do. So expressive, oh, I love it. And these little slippers are to die for. I love these. They are so stinking cute. Oh my goodness. And this, the material, whatever this is made out of is really nice, really soft to the touch. Now this looks like it's two pieces, but it's not. Wanted to mention that, but it's still super cute. I love all the little Draculaura detailing that they put on here. You know, the little bat wing things and the coffins and all that cute stuff that's Draculaura. Now these are just slide up, slide down, no closure, the little pants. Top does have the Velcro closure that we're using to and the nice thin velcro this here yeah it's been hemmed it's just poking out i wasn't sure it just needs to be flipped under i might put a little you know fray check type stuff on that just because the seam here the hem is very very slight so i don't want that to go fraying but it looks okay for now oh i just love this i love it i love it i love it i'm not gonna do a lot of gushing about her because you know i want to get into the other one and i don't want the video to be too long i do have to say i think she's my favorite so far out of the draculauras i really love her face sculpt and like the makeup how they did it i love her cute little outfit i love the little body the little like you know whatever you want to say chunkier chubbier whatever body is so super cute loving that love her cute little tushy all the stuff super super cute love this creepover party draculaura she's so cute just the face gets me though the face and the hair are just exquisitely beautiful look at that love it okay y'all now my opinion for right now She's like a 9.99999 out of 10. There's only a very few little like minor, minor things like this kind of being a little frayed. I had to cut a few strings off of here. Very, very little, like a milla whatever of a point. So she's almost a 10 as far as I'm concerned. So yay. Now gonna get into this Draculaura Sculptimate Secrets next. I just have to say, I can't stand it. Look how cute she is with the funny little pose I put her in. Love it. Okay, I'm gonna bust this open. We're gonna get these off of here and then I'm gonna come back to you when it's time to open her up. All right, y'all, drum roll. Brrr. Hopefully she doesn't have wonky eyes or wonky face. Mm. Oh, I think she's good. I think she's really cute. Oh, yay. Just wanted you guys to get my initial reaction. Now I'm gonna cut her out. Yay. Okay, I got her out. Here's the little panel. 
I'm sure you all have seen this. We're just gonna go real quick. The cute little picture of her and her friends and the little thing where it says Draculaura and her font and the this or that kind of thing. And then all the other like little Monster High logo and all the cute stuff and that her birthday is Valentine's Day, obviously. And then the backard, you know, the back card thing. I'm gonna cut all these out, you know, get those out and keep that. That's super cute, love that. We're gonna get her real quick, but I'm not gonna go over her yet because I have the little key and I have to open the doors. We're gonna set her to the side and then open the doors. If y'all don't know, if you haven't seen other deboxing reviews of these, the one key will open them all and you don't have to do the water play thing, which I'm not gonna do right now. I'll do it later, but it's just, it's messy and it takes time and I wanna get into this with y'all and I don't wanna take time. So that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna go start at the top here and unlock the little door and open it. Get out the little packagey thing and see what we get in this first little dealio. I love these, by the way, the little packages with the like hearts with the wings, with the bat wings and the little things. Super cute. And then the question marks with the skull at the bottom. All right, this one has her extra outfit pieces and the other key. That's what's in here. Here is the little bolero jacket. Now I've spoke about this before. Not crazy about this material that they've used because this tends to like disintegrate over time. I love the style of this. I love the puffy sleeve with the little ruffle, super cute. And then here is the little skirt with the little bow here and then the little hearts and everything. And I dropped the other one. Here is the little gray top. Now I've seen other people like mix and match these and whatever. And this doesn't seem to wanna go. Like it doesn't really look that good with anything else. Else. So, you know, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. I'm not gonna really redress her that much. I'm just gonna show you the stuff because I think she's cute in that. I don't feel the need to do all the undressing and redressing. So there's these. I'm gonna use a little purple key now because it's pretty. We're gonna get into this one. This is a bigger one, I believe. Yeah, this feels like her hat in here. Maybe something else. Yep, another key. Here's the other key. Like I said, not gonna do the water play with that. Here, like probably my favorite thing, the little pink beret. It's so cute. Love it, love it, love it. Can't wait to put it on her. And then this earring was down in the little hat. And I know there's more. I just don't wanna go fooling in it because that happens sometimes if you're not careful. Here's the other earring and then her necklace. Love these, these are so cute. Now on to the third door. Ooh, this one's full too. I'm assuming the shoes have gotta be in one of these bigger ones because they get the second set of shoes. Yep. Shoes and stuff. This little thing, if nobody's seen it, is the little like keychain holder. You pop this and then you put all the keys on it and it holds it. This is super cute, love this. And then here are her other secondary shoes. Look at the detailing. Now mine has a little bit of something, something there, but I expect defects. I know that we shouldn't, but there's always a little something. So nothing's ever gonna be completely perfect. That's just how it is. But these are very, very cute. Love all the detail on the heels. Like there's a see-through part there. So, so cute. And there's extra detailing in the bows and then the little bats on the toes and then the crisscrosses there and then the little things on the anklet. Love these, these are adorable. Okay, last door, gotta lift it up so y'all can see, cause you know, ooh, I think that one, yeah, that one was a little stuck. Don't know why, it just was. Let's get this last little package out of here. All right, what we get, what do we get? Oh, this is all her accessories, how cute. Okay, that's everything. We're gonna move this so you can see the other cute girl. All right, now these are the little like, you know, Draculaura-ified version of the little animal cracker cookies. My mom loves these in real life, the ones, you know, that you can get in the store. I think they're called circus something. They're covered with like white chocolate or something that's dyed and then the little sprinklets. They're super cute. Love this and then look at this. <gasps> I love the candy. This is so stinking cute. You know, nothing on the back, but I don't mind. This is so cute. Now, a lot of people I've heard 
them complaining or upset or whatever you want to say, not happy about the fact that these don't have a way for her to hold them, that they don't have the little thing. But, you know, I'm not mad at it personally as a collector. I know I can always use, you know, like I have the Gorilla type blue tack stuff that doesn't cause anything to hurt that you can like just put a little ball of it in the hand and then squish this in it and they'll hold it if you want to do it for picture purposes, which is fine. And then this, her little drink, which cracks me up because the lid comes off if I can get it. Sometimes I can't get this stuff, <laughs> but yeah, I got it. See, the little lid comes off, super duper cute. And then it has the little thing here where they can put the hand through. Super cute, love the little heart with the fangs and all the little detailing. I think it's supposed to be a boba. Super duper cute, love it. Just real quick, here's the instructions. No big deal, you know, whatever. People were talking about how they use the first gens, like their sculpts and stuff for the picture. I think that's funny, so I thought I'd show you guys that. All right, we're gonna get into her. She is really beautiful, y'all. I got a good one. Now the hair, I love the hair. I do love the pointy bangs, but I am sad that you can't see how pretty her makeup is with them down like that. So, you know, I don't know how I feel. Like, I guess because the other dolls, you can see all the stuff. Having the one with the bangs is a good thing. I'm just sad that it covers up so much of her eye makeup and stuff. That's all. It's beautiful though. Mine was really, really stiff and had a lot of product in it, but now it's a little better. She does have a pretty bad case of box hair, but the hair, you can even see, like, look there. See how it's like stuck. The hair feels pretty soft. That felt softer, but this feels like it has product in it and that didn't. So maybe that's why. But I think this is the good hair as well. But you know, watch reviews because I'm a doll person, obviously. People that I've watched really don't care for the poly hair, which I don't either. It's not my favorite. Some of these dolls are so beautiful, I really don't mind. But anyway, wanted to show you that before I put the hat on. And the ears, oh my God, y'all. The ears on these Draculauras are so stinking cute to me. I love how pronounced they are. The only thing I don't like about this one one is that you can't really see them like they did it like this it had her hair parted so they would stick out a little but you can't really see her earrings or her ears you know you would need to do some kind of something like that and I don't know if I want that kind of hairstyle on her because she's so pretty with it down so I don't know how I feel about that but it is what it is she's still absolutely beautiful to me and I don't regret getting her even paying full price because I like to get them when they're on sale it took so long for me to even find these in stores that I just had to that day when I found them love these little high-waisted shorts. These are so cute. The only thing I don't love is that they're made out of that pleathery material and I'm worried about them disintegrating over time. Otherwise, love, love, love. Same thing with the shoes. Absolutely love these shoes. Some people don't like the purple accents on the bottom. I don't mind them. I love the hearts going up and that there's painted details. It would have been nice if they would have painted, I don't know. I mean, I know bat wings are black, but maybe like did the stitching in a different color, like the pink or something. That would have been cool, but I'm not mad at it. And I love how it comes together in the back here. That is awesome. So, so cute. I did put her earrings in already, if I didn't say, just because I wanted to do that off camera because it's kind of precarious. So I did that. They went in pretty easy. Now I've had trouble with some of them in the past, but these I didn't, so yay for that. And then, articulation wise, same good stuff, all 360 at the head. She does have the upper body joint, which I am in love with, 360 at the arm, the good elbow joint, you know, good enough for me anyway, and the wrist joint, and the knee. All the good joints on this cute Draculaura. I absolutely love her. And then, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Ah! She's so cute with the beret on. Oh my goodness. This is what got me when I did the What's New video when I, you know, premiered that these were coming out. You see, I love how that sits and then her little ear sticks out. That's so stinking adorable. See how it pushes that down? I might trim this. I don't know if I really want to because it is really perfect. No wonky bang, which I got really lucky. So we shall see. But this girl, love her. So glad I got her. Love all her little accessories. Look at this. She can hold her little drink. Look at how adorable. What with the drink? Let's see. Their little drinky drink. This is so stinking cute. Oh, I love it. I can't wait to fix her box hair and make her, you know, she's beautiful to me now, but even more beautiful. Just love her. Love all her accessories. I do have to say I like these two pieces together and I think that I would like this on top. So I'm gonna put this on and then come back to y'all. Okay, y'all, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So pink, so cute. I wasn't sure I was gonna love it because I'd seen it in other people's videos and I was like, eh, I don't know. But in person, love, 
Love, love, love. She's so cute. I just love her. I love both of them. I refuse to pick favorites. I love all the Draculauras. That's all there is to it. I love each one for their own like individuality because that one is so different than this one and I just love them. She's beautiful. Like I said, nothing really wrong. A little bit of something, something on the shoe over there. She gets a nine, 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 you know, 9.999 from me as a collector because she's beautiful. That one's beautiful. Love both of these. So glad and happy I get to add these pinky pink beauties to my collection. Okay, y'all, real short and quick for me as a dolly collector and a pinkaholic and a Draculaura lover. Both of these dolls, really good, definite buys in my book. In your book, I don't know, but as for me, definitely yes. Love, love, love them. All the accessories, super cute. You know, I talk to you guys about the stuff I'm not so happy about, so you know that. You know, don't have to go through that again. Just know, I think these are spectacular. I'm lucky I got ones with no wonky eyes and good hair and everything. Gotta fix her box hair, but when don't we have to fix box hair, y'all? For me, thumbs up, bye. Love these beauties and so glad to join you again. Once again, for Pinky Pink Wednesday, I hope you enjoyed it and I have to say, you made it this far. Thank you so, so much for being with me and watching y'all. As always, I hope everybody watching is well, happy, and safe. Having a great, great, great Dolly Day for Pinky Pink Wednesday. And I hope that all the good, best things that are in this life that can come to you, I really, truly hope they will. I have to say, great, big, huge, 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 lovely Pinky Pink Wednesday. Subscriber love to all you wonderful, lovely subscribers. I can never say enough how much y'all mean to me, how special you are, how wonderful you are, how generous and sweet and kind and lovely you are. You're just the best. There are no words, honest and truly. Just know that I thank you for every little thing you do from the bottom of my Dolly Collector heart. And I love that our great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family has grown so big and that y'all have come along this journey. It's absolutely wonderful. So I have to say thank you, thank you so, so much for everything, y'all. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Come on, y'all. Become part of this crazy, great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built because here we do everything. Deboxings, thrifting, hauls, shorts, vlogging, tutorials, sewing, anything you can think of in the Dolly world, we're gonna try it here. I try to give you new content and a safe Dolly space every time you're with me, a fun Dolly space, so you can come along, join with me, and see what Dolly silliness and craziness I get up to. So if you wanna become part of that, come along and join us. Become part of the great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family because we would love to have you. And absolutely everyone, no matter what you're into, is always welcome here. Well, y'all, we did it. We made it through this double deboxing of Skultimate Secrets and Sleepover Party Draculauras for Pinky Pink Wednesday. So you know what I'm going to say. Happy Pinky Pink Wednesday and bye, y'all.